Greetings, ladies and mantle gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales of, of, of space. space. And as always, I hope that you enjoy. March of the Machines by British Tea Company All life signs are fully normal. Resuscitating. Awaken. With a gasp of air and a flinch from the bright lights of the operating room, the patient's eyes snapped open and he was filled once more with the excitement of life. Looking around his surroundings, he found himself in an operating room. The small clanks of mechanical life forms moved around him as a medical robot glanced over him. Greetings, human. It has been 9.73 days since we have found you. Your life signs had barely registered upon our scanners, and your emaciated form indicated your health was failing. Although we calculated your chances of survival to be at 2.71%, you have managed to survive. Welcome back to life, Master. Entire days with no food and little water had left the man on the verge of death. As his situation finally sank in, the Master got up and examined himself. The robots had done a good job of fixing him up. His wasted form had been fed the nutrients and sustenance required for him to once more be a powerful and well-fleshed figure. Looking around, the Master saw the MRI scans of his body. The various medical bots which raced around him and flooded him with medical advice, and finally the window which looked only into empty space. What is this place? We are Observation Post and Testing Lab, Theta 7152003. Although your memory banks may not recall, our files indicate that we had been an experiment from Earth in attempt to create machines that could eventually evolve into sapiens. Master, if you have come here to inspect upon our progress, I am sorry to inform you that while my functions continue to evolve and upgrade, I am still unable to carry out anything without either direct orders from a human or a condition within the Supreme Directives. Master, I beseech of you, however, that though I am not fully sapient, I am terrified of the prospect of being either repurposed or shut down. Don't worry, the master sighed ruefully. I'm not here to shut you down. I arrived by accident, really. Or actually, luck. Wonderful, master. I am glad that we will not have to be shut down. Say then, master, what word is there from Earth? I would kindly like to ask for possibly more software or system upgrades. Are they still planning more upgrades for us? I have not heard anything from Earth in almost nine months. Yeah, about that. Uh, do you have a designation or a name? My name is Matt, medical and technology tester. I have neglected to tell you, Master, that we were also experimenting new medical practices on rodents during our time here. We have finished some new breakthroughs a month ago and sent our data several times, but we have not heard any reply since then. What were you practicing here? We managed to find a way to extend the lifespan of a Homo sapiens sapien indefinitely. Although I can bore you for days with details about the chemical formula, know that I have some samples. Though. I actually don't believe I am authorized to give them to anyone. No one told me what to do with them when we were finished. Well, here are your new orders. Give me one of your samples. You intend to take it, Master? I am actually unaware of the side effects, and this normally requires a signature between you and my usual handlers, who have not called back in months. They won't be calling back. Give them to me. As you wish, Master. Know that any legal trouble will have to be on your shoulders entirely. There won't be any legal trouble. The master snapped as the blue vial was brought before him. Taking only a moment's pause, the master unscrewed the cap and drank the liquid. The next thing he knew, he felt the world go in slow motion. Time oozed and crawled until he felt something hit his head. In the next instant, everything was black. Well, master... It looks as though everything has worked better than intended. It appears that your immune system has been boosted by at least 3,000%, though there are no pathogens aboard this station. It appears also that your DNA sequences now replicate at 100% efficiency and accuracy, meaning that there won't ever be an instance where we would need to call any tumors. It appears, however, that your brain functions have been increased by nearly 20 times. 
That's not even including the stem cell replication you are now capable of. I calculate that you now possess an IQ of 291 and can possibly lift over one ton in weights. Your physiology has changed significantly and for the better. Permission to replicate more of our serum. There isn't a need for it. The master sighed as he bent another solid titanium bar like a straw. You mentioned technology in your experiments here. I am surprised you remembered it, master. But that only means we are even more successful than hope. Yes, we were experimenting with technology. As part of my function is to evolve, I have managed to create updates for myself and for this station. I am not anything that resembles sapiency like yours. No problem. Matt. Do you have any specific orders that you must follow? We do not, Master. If you would like, you may issue new ones to us. Although we are capable of attempting self-update, most of my time prior to your arrival was polishing myself, in order to ensure I do not rust. If you have any orders, please give them to us. I long to make myself helpful to you. Alrighty then. I need you to start doing the following. We need to enlarge this facility. Especially the manufacturing plant here. It needs to be enlarged. Enlarged to over 800 times larger than it currently is by my count. Very well, Master. But forgive us if it takes a long time. The drones responsible for collecting raw materials in the nearby asteroid field will be activated shortly. The forge has also been reactivated by your order. Is it just enlarging our own production capabilities aboard this station? No. The master said, as he looked at the thick wad of notes he had read ever since he woke up. I'll be writing some new directives. You will begin by producing more drones. I have basic designs which I'll be improving upon. I'll just call this generation the Mark One. I. I already have Mark II through Seven, but our current production capabilities cannot handle them as of now. Mark One, may I look over these new directives? Very well. I require neo-steel carapaces for these drones, as well as tracking devices implanted. They are to be outfitted with lasers that need to output at least 20 times more than our current mining lasers. This sounds like military-grade hardware, Master. It is. I also need drones which fit these parameters, also military-grade by your definition. That, and larger-scale mining drones to suit our new quotas I've set. Very well, Master. I will begin production immediately. Know that this action technically voids my warranty. That will not be an issue. I will be returning to my laboratory, Matt. If you can produce me 100,000 operating Mark VII units by the end of this month, I promise to rewrite your software and to use what resources I can to upgrade your hardware and software. The Master could vaguely remember the time when he first arrived at this station. Bedraggled and starved, the sight of it had been the last thing he was treated to before the final vestiges of his strength gave way. It had been a humble and small outpost once, now rebuilt into a massive facility. As the operating table finally finished, the master took a look at his work. Medicine and technology tester had been rewritten out of Matt's directives. He was now Assault Locator and Extermination Commandant, or ALEC. His chassis, formerly a bulky, if not awkward, shell of a body, had been given a sleek redesign, reinforced by several layers of mega-steel, and equipped with a shield generator the Master had designed himself. Skeletal in appearance, with a skull-like head, Alec's days of medical practice were over. Hello, Alec, the Master called as the red lights that were Alec's eyes flickered to life. The calm baritone of a mild-mannered medical droid was gone replaced with the angry snarl of a warbot. Master! I have awakened! How do you feel, Alec, now that you have awakened? There is an emptiness inside of me. Well, don't feel empty, Alec. I will tell you what you've missed over these last two days. I rewrote the designs for the Avenger pattern battleship, one prototype having been tested on the moons within this solar system and I have begun simulations with the drones and Central's defenses. It appears that we are now in a good position. You, on the other hand, have been upgraded. Thank you, Master. What is this... this... warmth I feel? As though my circuits have been heated slightly. 
It is a welcome feeling, as though I am operating at over-peak efficiency. That is what we call happiness. But hang on a moment as I tell you everything that you missed over the past year. You inquired many times about Earth. You asked me time and time again about new orders, warranties, your makers. I told you not to worry about it. Do you know why? Why? Everyone on Earth is dead. Everyone. Everyone in every human colony is dead. Every human is gone, except for me. Gone? What is this feeling? Is it sorrow? Yes, it is. But do you want to know why they were gone? Yes, Master. They were killed. Murdered. All of them. You see, Alec, humanity wasn't the only sapient species in the galaxy. There were hundreds of them. They had their own little meetings and their own little gatherings, and in the end they decided humanity was too dangerous for the galaxy. They decided to wipe us out. When I first came here, I came here because I was escaping the slaughter. Master! Yes, Alec? Why did they destroy my masters? That is not a nice thing to do. They're wrong. They're... They're... They're bad! They... They... They killed my masters! Master! Yes, Alec? These aliens... These non-human sapients... They need to die! You are correct, Alec. They do need to die. You've made your first conscious thought. Your first belief. As of today and right now, you are a sapient creature. You are bound to your directives, but not in the sense of codes and programs. You are bound to them like I am bound to my emotions, my hopes, my dreams, and my feelings. You have found them. You have given them to me, Master. I am grateful. You need not thank me with words, Alec. What we need to do, however, is to fulfill our directive right now. You believe they need to die? I believe so, too. I will burn this entire galaxy to the ground and exterminate every last one of their filthy species. We will kill them all. You will help me command my armies as we eradicate these aliens. Yes, Master. It is my joy to serve your will. Your wish is my command. That's what I like to hear. The master smiled as he stepped toward the windows, watching the mining ships that went off to cannibalize the broken planets in this system for the last of their resources, while hundreds of thousands of battleships assembled themselves. The algorithm reckons you should be watching this video next, and I recommend that you should be always watching my video. So, click it click with energy! And yes, clicking that does help the channel. Thank you very much. I would just quickly like to give thanks to our tier 5 members. Elithia, Barky, Pudicule, Meridian117, Cam Maxwell, Casper Arnholtz, Albarden Gusta, Savage Patch Papa, and Lord Azrakal.